Taurus. Welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we are doing the readings for March 2024. We are using the Gentle Creatures Oracle deck, and we are using the Maple Runes, the Elder Fruit Arc on Maple Wood. So let's start with a card from the Gentle Creatures deck. We have Conjurer. So this month, um, Taurus, is going to be a real month for you to just bring things through, to really like use your magic and to bring things through into the world that you maybe had been working on for a while. So let's get some runes down to clarify. Yes. Doopy doo. I hope you're having a very nice um, February. Or if it's March when you're watching this, I hope you're having a very nice March. <laughs> I hope that whatever it is where, where you are when you are watching this, it is pleasant. Um, because in the Northern Hemisphere, we are going towards spring. And in the Southern Hemisphere, we are not. <laughs> so, um, central issue for this month, Taurus, we have Uruz. Uruz is the rune of the wild ox. This has to do with strength and health and stubbornness, otherwise known as stick to um, It looks like you are feeling very much in your element, very strong, very grounded, and very much um, able to continue to push forward without being swayed with what you're doing. You have just been through a challenge. Um, we have Thurizaz, which is the rune of the challenge. This is not an impossible challenge. This is something that you were able to do ultimately relatively easily. It was just a matter of psyching yourself up and stepping through the door or across the threshold to do it. Um, this is the thorn, the giant, the gateway. It is upright, so it's an open door. You've just stepped through it, but it took it took something for you. It took some bravery to, to get through this door. Um, so now you're in a state where you're standing very strong. You're feeling very solid and grounded, and you're ready to bring things through. What is going to help you is what you have learned about yourself. We have Pertho reversed. Pertho is the rune of the lot box. This has to do with surprises and fate. Reversed in the upper line, it's usually about up, um, inner. So it's your inner... It's what you've learned about yourself. It's your inner revelations, your inner surprises, and things about yourself that, that were revealed that were always the case, but you didn't really acknowledge them yet, and now you have, and things are good, and that's what's helping you. Um, also, on a slightly different uh, angle of that same read, um, things that were unexpected that were not super pleasant were what led you to these realizations about yourself that were that are helping you now because it can also mean an unpleasant surprise but it's the sort of unpleasant surprise where it was something that was always the case and you didn't realize it yet and then suddenly it was like oh my gosh but because of what you learned from that um, this is what's helping you right now while you are feeling very strong and able to take care of the things that you need to take care of and like really get that grounding and, and be strong what isn't going to help you is there's this sense of things taking a very very long time I mean it has you, it led, leading up to this, you've just been through a big challenge that you had to get through to get to the point where you're at. So things, you're sort of feeling impatient with things. You want things to get on with themselves. And yeah, it's, it's the sort of thing that you couldn't have done until now. Like even though it seems to be taking a long time, Sorry, this is uh, Ivaz, which is the rune of the yew tree. This has to do with patience, slow growth, slow development, step by step, moving between worlds, all of that kind of thing. But in the lower line, it's a worry about those things. So just basically feelings of impatience about about things. However, when you get when you look at what the upper line is, which is what you've learned about yourself, you couldn't have done what you're doing now without what you've just been through. So if that starts to drag you down, bring yourself back and go, you know what, I am exactly in the right time to do this right now. And I wasn't before until this moment. So knock it off, impatience. <laughs> so what this is going to lead you to by the end of the month is you're going to become very aware of what you need. Um, this is not emergency drop everything kind of need. This is just kind of you will be very aware of your needs for your next step on what you're doing. We have Nalthes, uh, which is the rune of need, and it always means tend your needs. It's basically the little need fire. So you you will become, during the course of the month, very aware of what needs to be done and where your needs lie. And at the same time, bringing things through. I'm hearing lots of traffic. I'm thinking maybe I might want to close the window for the next reading. <laughs> So that, Taurus, is your reading for March 2024. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.